uh, viewers, viewers, and YouTubers, this is G.A. Turks. Uh, welcome to my show. Uh, let's welcome again Mr. Felipe, yes, sir. Uh, giving us the, uh, the, the 411 on the hot new technology. Okay, so Felipe brought to me, my attention this new technology called Google Glass. What can you tell us about Google Glass, sir? You know, right now we're still in the developmental stage, um, w w the way Google's going to it. I mean, you can kind of put $1,500 down on it if you want to be one of the first ones to get one off of the assembly line or, or whatnot. Um, I didn't. I should. I didn't. Mm -hmm. um, but from the way it goes, it's pretty much like a glass type setup. So the glasses kind of fit over of this nature here. Then they've got a little screen that kind of sits in front of the face, that kind of sits in the eye that you can look through um, that um, kind of brings up information. So from what Google, from what they have on just a demonstration video, I mean, you can, you can search, you can go with video on it and video chat on it. You can superimpose um, map layouts or the Google Maps if you're walking through New York or if you're anywhere, trail maps and all the good stuff. Right now, if I'm not mistaken, I think they're going to have it linked up to your, your smartphone. I can imagine in the future, though, that it's just going to be one piece by itself. Um, I like it. It's not that bad. It's, su it's still super fresh. The way Google's talking about, what is it, 2012? They're talking about 2013, maybe the beginning of 2014, before <coughs> they even start rolling out production models on it. But, um, man, it's, it's going to be the wave of the future. I mean, that's the way computers are moving. It's something that's going to be seamless, that's on the face, that's going to be able to record first person um, what you're doing throughout your day. I know a lot of times if I'm doing something, I would like to record. I don't want to have my phone and hold it up all the time. So, I mean, it's going to be instantaneous video feed um, going straight up to your server. So, I'm loving it. Well, there were some things that I liked about it, and there were some things that I did not like about it. Um... I know that we've already kind of talked about, well, I kind of already kind of have introduced this, this technology to the viewers already when I talked about uh, apps that you probably would not want if you were in a relationship in a video that I did uh, when the Evo first came out. Yep. Uh, that app was called Layer, uh, and what it did was it gave you an augmented environment. That's what it's called. It's called an augmented environment where you would take your phone and your camera and yep. you would turn this app on, and so you can see the rest of the world as you would normally see it through your phone but with the app it would lay stuff over it like if you saw an apartment building then it would tell you uh, which if there was a uh, something vacant or for rent or yes, you could yes, buy yes, a yes, townhouse yes. or something like that and how much it would be and all of that uh, yes. it would also be connected to Twitter so if you were in a restaurant uh, and you were and you were tweeting and you would turn this app on if other people are tweeting around you, you can kind of do your phone like this and it would show your regular environment, but it would augment over it the mm -hmm. people who are tweeting in the room. So you can do it for like a mile radius, two mile radius, ten mile radius, and see people in the area who are tweeting. And so you could actually look up their profile and talk to them. So if I was uh, at a club or something like that and uh, somebody was tweeting and they're saying, oh, you know what, I like... XYZ, you know, oh my God, I just saw this guy, da 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 and, and I could look at that tweet, see it, and see what that person is tweeting about me through that augmented environment. I can look at their profile and wow. I can respond to it. Nice. So that was with Layer. People don't really talk about Layer any, anymore, but if Google, are, if, if Google is going to capitalize off that whole eyeglass thing and now incorporating mm -hmm. that app sort of thing into eyeglasses and overlay what you see, and, and and give you more information yep. while you're seeing it. I think I think I like that, but we already have enough problems as it is with uh, talking on the phone and trying to do customer service at the same time, and people not understanding uh, uh, what you what you're trying to order and waiting on you to go ahead and present your order because you're on the phone or you're on your Bluetooth, and we don't really know if, the, if you're crazy or if you're talking to yourself or what. Exactly. So now we're gonna have this thing where people will not have a Bluetooth on, people will not have their phone up. I guess we'll just have to know that uh, it's in their glasses. I mean, and a lot of them, I can imagine Google is going to have something. It's going to be maybe a little blue dot or something on the glasses I think that that's going to indicate if it's you're in on. use or not, if you're on or if you're not on. I, I know, how I, irritating is I, I, I wonder how irritating that's going to be. Because you, you're never going to, I don't know, I don't know. I'm looking at this going to be a little bad about it is maybe privacy type situations. Because now, for example, I mean, if, I mean, if I'm at a club or if anything, and if I'm sitting talking to you, if I'm in a restaurant, I can be recording you. 
or whatever with these Google glasses yeah. or unbeknownst yeah. to you. At least with a phone, I've got to have this in your face. I've got to have it pointing at you. I mean, it's, it's obvious. So maybe, I mean, but that's the way the world's kind of going right now. Everything is going, everything is on but video. I, I, I mean, think, there's no more secrets. But no when, more. You, when you taping. say that, when you say that there's a possibility that you could be taping me, yes. I don't know. I think that that kind of puts people in line. Now. It does. So no longer can you go to work and your boss just treat you any kind of way and expect you to just go along with that because you could really be taping them. Exactly, exactly, exactly. I mean, I'm, I'm stoked about it. I'm excited about it. I can't wait to see what's going to be. I know it's still in the developmental stage, like I said right now. So just like when Apple first came out, they didn't have any of the, the apps. They didn't have all of the stuff to it. I mean, now they've what, a billion apps or what is it, a billion downloads. I know they got millions yeah. of apps and yeah. all this good stuff. So um, they're still looking for writers to go for it. So it should be interesting to see well, what comes out after that. You know, I'm always looking forward to new technology. I just, when I saw it, I just didn't think, I just saw it as maybe being a problem. I could just see people standing in, stop, standing in spot looking for that information to come up and they're just looking around looking crazy, whatever, uh, whatever, whatever. <laughs> However, uh, you had mentioned to me another thing that I thought was interesting about uh, the airspace. Yeah, uh, I think they call it like <coughs> the white spectrum or white noise or something of that nature. This is, has to go back to when they made everybody in the United States switch over to the digital, the digital um, TV. So before then, what was it, U, 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 UHF and VHF, that type of situation? I right, think I'm right, saying right, it wrong or whatnot. Right, right. But that whole airspace was what, what, what the TV was, what the TV was on. It was allocated for TV shows. So now, all of that's, when we switch over to digital, all of that airspace was up for grabs. So, I mean, AT&T, T-Mobile, all of the big names, they've been bidding on it. And I'm talking about bidding big money, trying to get the rights to that. So, I mean, to, you know, because something like this can potentially, they could have Wi-Fi over the whole state of Texas um, just with, you know, with the white noise. They got a little town. I can't even remember what little town it is, but they're, 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 they're testing it out. They're testing it out, trying to see the, how it's going to run out. But man, if it starts in that little town, I can see in a couple of years just Wi-Fi across the board. Everywhere. Everywhere. For free. And like for, television was for free. Like television was free. And even if it's not for free, oh, what it's going to be super, 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 super cheap. Oh, what, but I, I even canceled that off. Right now, you can go to McDonald's, any Starbucks. You can pretty much go to any public location and get a free Wi-Fi spot right now. It's super yeah, easy yeah, to pick right. up a Wi-Fi signal at any at any, like I said, fast food restaurant, even the bigger restaurants. So, I mean, it's not... It's, it's not too far off yeah, what we already have. Exactly. It's not off to say that um, the companies can just have it widespread across the whole state. That's but, a, but that's a whole lot of open air. So who's, who's fighting for that right now? Do you I mean, at and is fighting for T-Mobile because, I mean, this is big money for those companies that get these definitely, rights. Definitely. Um, I cannot remember, and I need to do I my study. I thought you said somebody more. was like... I thought you said that somebody was like already top... Dog. Now I want to say I want to say AT and T has got some bids on it. I could be wrong, and it could be T Mobile, but I do know it is a company. AT and T, one of them, already got a couple of the a couple of the um, the, the spectrums <laughs> or whatever to start using it. Well, so, I look forward to it. I think it's going to be exciting. I can't wait to see what they're going to do with it. Can't wait. Uh, let me see. Is there anything else that you can think of that's uh, hiding that? that uh, we should know about, that we should let the viewers know about. Yeah. I can't think of anything, but guess what? When we do, we'll definitely let you know. All right, see you later. Till next time, this is Jay Turks and... Felipe. <laughs>